What's ballroom dancing? Do you know what ballroom dancing is? You might recognize it visually when you see it, but can you describe it with words? Do you know any of its history or classifications? If any of these questions are true for you or just of interest to you, then keep reading so you can learn more about the various styles, some of its history, how it is judged, and how many styles are labeled and categorized within the modern framework. Ballroom dancing is a style of dance you do with a partner. Its origins can be traced to Western Europe, although it's now something that participants enjoy at both competitive events and social gatherings around the world. This kind of entertainment is one that has seen wide use in films, television, and on stage. Many specific social dances done by couples have gotten famous in ballrooms. These include foxtrot, waltz, cha-cha, charleston, merengue, jitterbug, polka, swing, and tango. Ballroom dancing in the United States was influenced early on by the on-screen duo of Fred Astaire with Ginger Rogers. Fred Astaire and Arthur Murray further popularized ballroom dance with the establishment of studios across the country. In these and other locations are around the world, Fred and Ginger dance classes brought the American smooth style of ballroom to the masses. American rhythm is another style that gained popularity across the country. In Europe, ballroom dance contests were popular, featuring both professional and amateur dancers alike. In the United States, amateur ballroom dancers are given proficiency levels which are specifically outlined by USA Dance. Syllabus dancers are rated as gold, silver, or bronze, whereas open competitors are rated by levels of championship, pre-championship, or novice. Professionals can attain levels identified as open professional or rising star. In ballroom dancing competitions, the dancers get judged on a number of specific criteria. These include but are not limited to connection, speed, posture, grooming, and frame. The proper use of feet, ankles, and weight also matters, as does appropriate general body alignment. Every kind of dance has a specific set of dancing methods and movements involved with it. When dancing is happening in a crowd, participants should move around the floor in a counterclockwise pattern, following a shared imaginary line of dance that is used in both the foxtrot and waltz. Alternatively, the swing happens in a more confined space, which makes it better for crowded dance floors. People moving faster dance towards the outside of available floor space, while anyone moving at a slower pace gets more confined to the middle. The entire notion of ballroom dancing first happened so that partners could dance together in ballrooms. Traveling or progressive ballroom dances were often characterized by the long strides that resulted from partners traveling the dance floor quickly. Proper posture and correct framing were very important to ballroom dancing and continue to be so today. The need for a large area of the dance floor is the result of multiple factors. One is the frequent combinations of large steps. Also, the partner's upper bodies need separation, even despite framing which requires both upper arms and shoulders to stay in just one line. The international style came from modern or English styles of ballroom dancing. As mentioned earlier, it's used in all international competitive ballroom dancing, even in North America. The American style of ballroom dancing was an attempt to make the whole activity more social and less formal. On the other hand, modern social standards for dancing have evolved considerably, so by contemporary standards, even the American form of ballroom dancing is still very formal. Ballroom dancing do require rather large dance floors. But there are patterns that you can do on even smaller dance floors. For example, waltz dancers often have underarm turns, hesitation steps, and box steps that let dancers have the chance to dance their waltz as an actual spot dance. International ballroom dancing styles are often grouped into two categories. The standard style includes the slow, tango, waltz, foxtrot, quickstep, and Viennese waltz, whereas the jive, paso doble, ruma, samba, and cha-cha all fall into the Latin grouping. American styles of ballroom dancing are likewise broken down into two groups of their own. The smooth group includes tango, foxtrot, waltz, and Viennese waltz, whereas the rhythm group incorporates the cha-cha, rumba, bolero, mambo, and east coast swing. One primary difference between the American and international styles of ballroom dancing is that international standard dances happen in closed dance positions, whereas the American smooth lets partners the possibility of opening up in a number of steps. Here they can release their arm holds, which allows for dips, spins, and other various embellishments forbidden within international standard. Another notable difference is that in international Latin, the hip action is achieved following steps onto a straight leg. In American rhythm styles, the hip action happens following a Cuban motion of flexing a knee after a step. International competitions involving ballroom dancing use the international style of dancing, even if they take place in the United States. On the other hand, pure performances across North America use the American style of dancing. American styles of dancing are also used on shows like So You Think You Can Dance or Dancing with the Stars, which might be where your curiosity about ballroom dancing started in the first place.
Despite its historical origins, ballroom dancing is actually quite popular in contemporary culture, thanks in large part to the aforementioned television shows in the reality and competition genres. It's extremely fun if you can find a friend or partner willing to do it. You can get away from the daily grind of life and have some fitness and fun. Pretty much anyone who can stand up can enjoy ballroom dancing, regardless of age or gender. It's sexy, relaxing, and popular worldwide, so you might get to show off your skills even when vacationing around the world. Nearly everyone loves watching people dance, so you might be surprised just how many folks you know leap at the chance to take classes with you. You might even meet the love of your dreams while taking lessons. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, ballroomdanceplanet.com